<laughs> oh! I have been waiting all day to get home and see this damn trailer. It dropped like as soon as I got on the freeway and started my morning commute uh, from Concord to SF. I, I didn't have to work or anything, I just had to take Santino to school. And I stayed over there uh, in SF the whole day. Uh, waited for him to get out of school and um, man <laughs> I'm finally home it's like 9 30 p.m. so whoo I see in the thumbnail um, he's got this purple-ish you know trail along his mask and his costume man that it looks pretty sick let's see I have seen gods fly I've seen men build weapons that I couldn't even imagine. Uh -huh. I've seen aliens drop from the sky. Yeah. But I have never seen anything like this. How much more are you hiding? Oh, yeah. Let's go. You have no idea. Wakanda. This is your time. Show me what you have You get to decide what kind of king you are going to be. Don't freeze. I never freeze. Oh! The revolution will not be televised. Yo! Entire life for this. The world's gonna start over. I'm gonna burn it all. What happens now determines what happens. Yo. The rest of the world. Yes, man, Michael B. Jordan, his villain, looks many. Now, Michael B. Jordan's character that he's playing is Killmonger. And I do not remember him ever having a suit that is very similar to the Black Panther. But yeah, this cast looks incredible. It has everybody in it. You got Michael B. Jordan, you got Lupita Nyong'o, you got Angela Bassett. Um, he didn't show up in the trailer here, but um, Forrest Whitaker is also in it. You got... Uh, I can't remember her real name, but the lady who plays, uh, uh, what's her name? From The Walking Dead. I cannot remember her name right now. But she's a great actress also. But man, that one part where he just, you just see him do this and he just falls through the ground and like just starts falling from the sky. And look like he's headed towards some trouble with these cars that are on the road. Man. And it looks like Killmonger is going to uh, align himself with Ulysses Claw, um, who was introduced to us in the uh, Age of Ultron. Um, played by, uh, what's his name? Um, Andy Serkis. Brings out his knives and he has a suit very similar to the Black Panthers. However, there's a different, like, a gold plated face that's on it. I like how. Uh, he does something to where his, uh, he brings his claws out, then all of a sudden you see this purplish, like, glowing coming from his suit, and it's very reminiscent of, uh, the comics. Uh, there's this, he's had a number of variations of suits to where, like, uh, there was one where, that, where it had, like, a purple trimming, 
Uh, and then, of course, he went through his stage where he had a cape, very big flowing cape, um, which they probably may or may not have in the movie. Maybe just, you know, see him sitting on his throne. It would be nice if they had, you know, just wearing his cape once or twice. That would be cool. So, let me know what you guys think of this uh, trailer down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed my reaction, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. If you did not,